Hi, this is a programme I've been working on uh, this late afternoon today, uh, inspired by a comment from Martin on the InThread Sonic Pi uh, site, in which he's wondering about uh, recording MIDI and quantizing it uh, for replay. Well, this uh, deals with the first part of that. How can you actually record real-time MIDI coming into Sonic Pi and then re replay it and reconstitute um, the sounds that were there initially? Uh, this is based on a keyboard program which I wrote uh, a few years ago, which enables you to play a MIDI keyboard and to get it to play uh, Sonic Pi synths and to um, play um, exactly what you are um, putting in on the keyboard. Uh, I've modified it so it actually records the note pitch, the note velocity, the note duration and the time at which the note was initiated, uh, all stored in a big array. and uh, this can then be read back at a later date and used to replay the um, recording. So uh, it's in the program here and I'm going to start off by um, commenting out the section at the beginning uh, which is here which is used to for, for playback um, which we obviously don't want to do to have recorded something. The recording section it then follows and um, you can see down here that uh, in this line here everything is stored about a note when it is released it records the note pitch it recalls the duration of the note it records the amplitude of the note or the velocity factor with which it was hit and it records the time at which the note was initiated and then down here right at the very bottom we have got another little live loop here which will let me um, interact with three MIDI control signals which can be used to reset the time zero and to reset the contents of the list and finally to uh, record the list in the timeline with a reference colon T list so that it can be used in the replay program. So we'll start this recording. I've got a, um, a screen recorder running which uh, can slightly interact with the um, uh, the screen when I start the program running. It may stay red but it will, should still hopefully work but we'll see if it's okay. Uh, so starting the program running, yes, oh no, it's, it's worked this time so that's fine. So we're in record mode. I'm going to press um, the MIDI key uh, 24 which is going to reset the time to zero and then I'm going to start playing. something soft now and then louder some chords and we'll record that by pressing the uh, MIDI key 25 and now if we stop the program from running and we come back to the beginning and we uncomment this uh, we're now going to play the first part of the program which is going to be stopped when it gets down here to this stop signal and that is going to take the contents of the array stored in the timeline T list and put it back into a variable here and we're then going to just print out, this is really for debugging purposes, the contents of it on the screen. And then going to split up the contents into an array of starting times, uh, an array of note um, values to play, an array with, list with the durations of the notes, and an array with the amplitude of the, of the note or the velocity factor with which it was hit. Going to play it back with the same synth it was recording, which is the synth try and let's see what this sounds like. Here we go. Here's the soft bit. And louder, getting louder. Much louder. So you can see there's a pretty good representation of what was actually recorded there. And it's because it's recorded, we can just do it again, just run again, and it plays back the recording once again. And that will, of course, remain in the um, 
machine until I switch it off or overwrite the T-list um, state was recorded in the timeline and of course the program could be extended so that this could be recorded um, off to some other file maybe a JSON file or something like that um, and you could build up a library of what you played so I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the uh, little demonstration here and um, we'll see whether we can't uh, elaborate on this program as time goes on thanks for watching